Hi, Virgo, and welcome to your um, Zodiac Terrascope short and sweet message and predictions here, okay? We're going to be talking about um, situations, events, people, energy that's going to be coming in and around you. It can be already happening. It could go out to roughly two to three months. That's kind of my time frame. But whenever you see this, you're meant to see it because these messages are timeless. They're also for your sun, your moon, your rising, or your Venus. And at the end of the month, I actually do another video, but it's all in one video, but with all 12 signs. It's called um, All 12 Signs, I think. <laughs> I think that's what it's called, short and sweet messages. So I don't do each sign as an individual video. I put them all into one video, but with timestamps. So make sure that you check those out. And if you haven't yet, go and find them. They're in the playlist. All right, but let's get right into this. So what energy, person, event, situation, okay, in any area of your life is going to be coming in and around you, Virgo? Okay, let's get one card for that. I'm going to be pulling tarot with it as well. Law of Attraction. My angels are with me. Life loves me. I am beautiful. I am, I'm reading all these. I am prosperous. Everything is going to work out. Okay, action, thought, feeling, diligence. Okay. Let me get a tarot with it as well. First thing coming in is, I really feel like this is almost like, I know it is. it says law of attraction and that may resonate for you, okay? But I also feel like this is you believing in yourself, trusting your own thoughts, trusting your own actions, trusting your own feelings, right? So that's heart and mind working together, which we love. Okay, so let's get a tarot here with it, see if we can get a little more. But I just am feeling like that situation is really, oh, look at this action again, Knight of Wands. There is going to be something coming up where you are going to need to take action, okay? And fire energy is pretty fast moving, so I want to say it could be kind of quick action that you might, and look, there's like a cheetah here, so maybe some fast action, some quick action that you're going to have to take. But here's the thing, whatever this is, you need to trust yourself, you need to believe in yourself, okay? That you are making the right decision. If you come into this situation, event, or around this person, this energy, and it is inspiring you, and you are feeling passionate and enthusiastic about it, that will be your sign, okay? Like, this feels right. Like, I'm excited to try this or do this or, you know, to make a decision about whatever it is. Like, it kind of lights me up. It fires me up. That is how you're going to recognize this situation, all right? Um, when you come into it or event, person, like I said, but if you come into it and you're not feeling that, then that might be a sign for you that that isn't what you're meant to be doing or a decision you're meant to be making. All right. So you may want to rethink it um, because I almost want to say there may be as an alternate or a substitute to the original. Okay. It'll be different for everyone, but that's kind of the way it's coming in. It's like, if you're not feeling that passion and enthusiasm and energy and being inspired, just hold back for a second because there could be something secondary, okay? Um, but for others of you, you're gonna feel that right away and you need to trust it and go for it. Now, in those moments, because we're all in the moment, so, you know, maybe how can you handle what's going on in the moment? Let's get a little more advice here. Okay, how to handle it in the moment. Accept the Christ light. Act with wisdom and loving compassion. Archangel Christine. You could work with Archangel Christine. Maybe ask Archangel Christine to help you with this, to show you something. You can ask Spirit to step in, God, Source, Universe, or whomever, to help you with this. Okay. Oh, I just feel like it's that one. Eight of Wands. Yes, also fast moving. Journeys. Okay. Here we go. 
act with wisdom and loving compassion. So you are smart. You do make good decisions. See how this like you're 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 telling yourself, right? Like I am prosperous. Everything's going to work out. I can make wise decisions with love and compassion. It doesn't have to be out of um, selfishness or um, just desire and want, you know. I can make good, wise, loving, caring, and compassionate decisions too. This is really about trusting in yourself. And whatever this is, could it be that it's going to take you on a journey that you did not expect? Maybe for some of you, but this is also eight of wands, pretty fast moving energy as well. So I don't know if it's going to be the situation or event that's going to call for the fast movement or if it's going to be how you need to make the decision. OK, um, as in like maybe a short time frame you'll have to to think about this to ponder it. But just remember what I said here from spirit, like you should be feeling fired up, enthusiastic, inspired and passionate about it. If you're not, I just feel like I need to say, wait, because there's going to be an alternative. Okay, further advice and guidance here for you, Virgo. That's very interesting. I'm curious. Hey, if you want to share, um, please do. Other people love to read the comments too, and it may even inspire someone else. You never know. Um, and it also helps with getting my, my work out there. The more interaction I have with my channel, with likes and comments and and watches, the the hopefully the more it triggers the algorithm to push my videos out okay so i always ask you to do that please free of charge of course it is um change is coming i am here to guide you through this exciting transformation this is a time of joyous opportunities and i said it was like a journey right you never know where that may take you and this whole i'm prosperous it's going to work out this may be new for you. Maybe you normally don't make your decisions like this because it's very, it could be uncomfortable for you or just very, you're, you're full of doubt, right? They're saying, oh, whoa, okay. You know what? I'm going to take all of the, oh, geez, there's a lot. Okay, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to put them back and get uh, some new cards here. Sorry. I thought there was just like a couple and I was like, okay, I'll take those, but let's just get one, please there and they were very much saying and there it is <laughs> that was almost like a, why you only want one here let me spit it out of the deck <laughs> okay so the world I said like you could be full of doubt I don't know if I was saying that right this is this is change for you it's the world. The world card is coming full circle. I feel like this is you no longer doubting yourself, trusting. You're going to start trusting yourself in the decisions that you're making. Okay, this is a new beginning for you. You get to the world, you start over again. Okay. Oh, I like it. You can also think here with this journey card too. I just want to say it's almost like the world. It could feel like I love success, right? The world's at your feet. Um, by you making and taking action here in a loving, kind, compassionate, yet enthusiastic, energetic, inspired way, it, it's going to change things up for you in your life in a way that I think that you weren't quite expecting. So just keep everything in mind that was said here from Spirit. Okay, Virgo, good luck with this. Do not panic. Okay, do not fret. Do not doubt. All right, um, there, there's something very good here for you in whatever area of your life. There's different Virgos watching this, but I wish you all the best. Be sure to check out some of my other videos and I will see you in the next one.